If you're planning to compete for a million dollars in this largest hackathon organized by Bolt, why not build agent applications where we can utilize agents in Langflow and build amazing applications like this one where we take input from users and then send it over to Langflow. Langflow agents do the work for us, provide us with a response, and all of the work of building the application is done by Bolt, where we provide a prompt and Bolt generates the application code for us. So let's get started building an application like this. We're going to start by searching Astro Data Stacks. And once you open the link and register for a free account, you are going to be provided with a simple Langflow instance. And make sure you are on Langflow instead of Astro DB. And within Langflow, most likely you will see a list of projects if you have any projects. If not, you'll probably see a screen like this where you can start with a template or create something new. And that's what we did here. We are basically taking a chat input block, which is available under inputs. And these are different components that you can explore. And if you've been using Langflow, then probably you are aware of these components. And we are going to take the input from the user and provide that to a few components downstream. Now, the goal for our application here is to basically take a text from user. And based on the text, we want to search YouTube, find some relevant videos. And based on those videos, we are going to provide a new suggestion for a title. And this title is based on the number of views of previous videos. So the search results are going to look like this, where we have the video information and details of the title, description, view count, like count, and a few more details. And this is quite helpful because we can now pass this to an LLM and ask for it to help generate a new title. So the first thing naturally after taking the chat input from user is to search that on YouTube. And this is going to provide us with the list that we saw earlier and we will parse the list. So we have this parse data frame component which basically takes a few column IDs. And we're just supplying a few of those, not every column from the list earlier. So these are what is of importance to us. And we're saying that we parse this info and then we provide that to a simple LM call where we are asking GPT-40 mini OpenAI model to go through the list and based on the list, perform an analysis and help us come up with a viral title for a video. Now, this could be a description or something else that you'd like to utilize from the data available. And based on that, our agent should be able to now generate some titles for us. And once we run this, the result for the output basically looks something like a nice list of the titles that we can utilize in our videos. And now this search could be simple search. It could be a few more words and our flow is going to look for the right videos. And currently I am sorting it by view count, but this could be anything that you'd like to go by. And based on that, our flow is going to generate a few titles, suggestion. Now, the next step for us is to go from here to utilizing the API and building an application in Bold. And for that, we're going to go to the API section. We are going to grab this command here and we will utilize in Bold. But before doing that, it's always a good idea to test the command. And one of the tools that we can utilize for this is Postman. Postman is a tool where you can test API calls and that's what we're going to do. So we are going to copy this command. We're going to bring it over to Postman. And once we import the curl, it's going to be available for us to call it. And we can save this in a collection or just proceed without saving. And the main thing is that our API URL, as well as some of the info around headers and bodies available, what we'll have to do is we will have to replace this token 
with a value for the token. And this is available in Astro Data Stacks where you can generate a token and bring that value. Now for me, I have the generated token from before, which I'm going to use. Great, so I have added that and just make sure that you have some available message here in the input value so that we are searching based on that. And some of these are blank. There is no key value within these because we're not tweaking. We're going to leave it as is. We are just going to provide some input value. Now I'm saying that this is the Langflow agents again and rest we are going to leave as is. I am going to send this command. It's going to take a few seconds as it's going to call the Langflow API. And as you notice, it took about five seconds, which is quite fast. And it brought the results. And the main thing is for us to take this text and utilize in our application. And in addition to that, it's nice to have all of the structuring of the API response so that Bolt knows how to call the API and how to utilize these results. So now with this result and the API call, we're going to go to Bolt and create a new application. Now within Bolt, I'm going to provide a simple prompt. So basically I'm asking our application to be built as an AI assisted YouTube title generator app where the search term from user is sent over by our application to Langflow API and we get a response back. And we are providing a sample curl command as well as the Langflow API response to make it easy for our application here. Now I am gonna copy this curl command again and I will bring that over to the prompt saying that the sample curl command is all of this info below. And also I changed the input value to match Langflow agents because this is the search term that we utilize in our sample response. So next is going to be the response. Now we are going to take the response. So I'm going to copy all of this from here and we are going to provide that to Bolt as well where we have the sample response as well. I am just adding that the token will be provided later as an environment variable. So this should get us started with a simple application. So we are going to get started here. And what you'll notice is that once you start the generation of code, Bolt goes through multiple files and helps us create the application that we're trying to build. And since we also provided the command to use the token as ENV variable, it should be something that we can easily add here. So it has the option to add a URL as well as the token. So we can change this value here, but then we'll at least have the base version. And this is beautiful. Just with one prompt, we're able to get the base version of the UI available. And now once we add the token, we can test the working of the application. So now I went ahead and added the API token value. And with that, we can test our application. And the response looks beautiful. We have the prompt that we provided or the title that we want to ideate with. And based on that, we have generated titles and these are parsed nicely. We can copy any of these and then use for title in our next video. So this is really nice. One thing I wanted to mention is that the first prompt caused some errors. So basically I had to ask Bolt agent to help solve those errors. And usually you'll see either a prompt like this where it says this is the problem and it will ask for you attempt a fix. And that attempted a fix, it tried using HTTP, which was not the case for us. So then I asked for it to use HTTPS, but make sure that we're using this web containers based setup in Stack Blitz or Bolt. So it knows that we have to follow the rules or utilize the right technique for API calls within this limitation. So I went ahead, modified some changes. Also, there were some errors and I looked at the inspection console logs. 
and that is something you can right click and open this inspect window and once you're in here you can open console and read some of the errors here and if you notice that there is some issue with fetching data or so you can just copy that particular error provide that to bolt and with that it should be able to solve so with basically three prompts and providing the errors we have a working application with the idea that we had in mind and now we can use all of the tools and agents available in Langflow with a nice UI built by Bolt. Now for fun I also asked using Bolt with Langflow some titles that were suggested so this looks like a nice title for our next video possibly and one thing you could always do is you can go to the logs in Langflow and you can see any of the logs those were from the api so i can go to the last one here and based on the query we can look at the response from each of these components so for example if we're looking at the open ai block that we used we can see that there was some raw text available there was the text output that was generated so this is what was used in our front-end application and the final message of course you can look through the logs here and find out what was the chat input and output and based on that you can always debug and understand if your communication with the Langflow API is working or not. And with that, now you can build amazing agent-based application using Bolt and Langflow API.